Hey friends, thank you for coming back or coming here for the first time. It's Claudia and I'm so happy to share with you the final steps of my solar power installation. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to have accomplished this and share it with you in the hopes that it will help you the same way that it helps me to watch other people's videos. So here we go. Let me show you my final steps. Enjoy. that I have the configurations of my panels where I want them I'm going to clean once again the um, roof with the denatured alcohol first to make sure that it's clean of everything after cleaning with alcohol I'm going to apply this um, adhesive there's weatherproof I'm going to add this to the um, feet of the panel and after I do that I'm gonna add um, a turn up on to make sure that everything is super glued down make sure to wear your gloves
first panel is going down. Okay, so now I'm going to add pressure to each corner. I can't believe I just did one panel. This is huge to me, huge that I can do this. excited I think I'm done with the um, outside installation and I cannot believe it I'm not gonna cry but I am very happy especially if this is gonna work so now let's go inside the RV and see if I connected everything um, right before going inside i should um, show you what it looks like here are my three panels this one i had to initially i wanted to do it this way so i could fit another panel here but uh, not all the feet were touching the roof because it kind of curves on the sides so when i put it this way all the feet are down. There's my first panel. And 
here's my cable entry box. I put a lot of sealant inside the hole and this one so I won't have any um, creatures coming in. But later I want to do something bigger and that it colors more. But here are the panels so they all have the glue. They have glue and then uh, Eterna Bond and all of them. I want to secure the cables to the roof later. But for today, I'm done on the roof. So now let's check it out inside. So this is the cabinet where my um, my solar generator is gonna go. My goal zero. And this cabinet is reinforced with these metal brackets on each side. So I know it can hold a lot of weight. And um, what I like the most is that I can close the door and you don't have to see the Yeti. Even though it's not a bad looking machine, but it's better to be out of sight. See, it fits perfectly like it was meant for it, for it. And I'm gonna leave this gap so it can ventilate on each side. And then I'm going to add um, maybe a very strong bungee core here to secure it even more, even though this thing won't move. But I do wanna secure it just for my own peace of mind. Now it's time to connect it to the panels and see if I screw up or not. So the um, jetty is fully charged, but I wanna know what happens <laughs> when I connect it. I did it. I installed my solar system all by myself. I am so excited. And it's working, at least all the right lights are on. I connected the Anderson adapter here and they say when the light turns on blue, it's okay. I had it previously charged, so that's why it's showing 100%. But I'm so excited. I'm gonna move it to a sunnier location. And then, um, I'll take it from there.